In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for argon. So argon has two main isotopes. We'll look at both of those. More on isotopes later. But when we look at the periodic table, there's information that'll be the same for all isotopes of argon. For example, the atomic number. So for argon, the atomic number is 18, and it doesn't matter which isotope you have. Atomic number kind of defines what the element is. And the atomic number, that's equal to the number of protons. So we have 18 protons for all of the isotopes of argon. That's kind of what makes it argon. It has 18 protons. On the periodic table, when we see AR written like this, that means that it's a neutral element and the number of protons is going to equal the number of electrons. So since we have 18 protons, 18 electrons. So that information is the same for all isotopes of argon. If you had a minus or a plus after argon, that would be an ion. That wouldn't be neutral. Although argon doesn't usually form ions. It's a noble gas. Let's look at the other information. Right now, we don't have neutrons or mass number. And because protons plus neutrons equals mass number, that's going to be different too for isotopes. So let's look at each isotope. Often you're given the neutrons or the mass number and you can figure the other one out. But if not, go to the periodic table you have the average atomic mass, and we're going to round that to a whole number. Let's round that to 40. So now we can figure out the neutrons, because 40 equals 18, that's the number of protons, plus x. So it's going to have to be 22 plus 18, that gives 40. So we'll have 22 neutrons for this isotope of argon. And we're going to call it, based on its mass number, argon-40. 40. So we call that argon-40. Most of the argon that you'll find, if you had like a sample of argon, most of it would be this mass number of 40 with 22 neutrons, like 99.6% would be that. And that makes sense because if we look at the average atomic mass, that's an average atomic mass that averages all the atomic masses for the isotopes based on how much there are. Since the average atomic mass is close to 40, that means most of the isotopes will have a mass number of 40, and have 22 neutrons. The other main isotope for argon is argon with a mass number of 36. About 0.3% of argon atoms will be this isotope. So 36, and we can say that 18 plus something gives us 36, 18 plus 18. So based on the mass number, we're going to call this argon 30. Six. When we look at the periodic table, we can tell most atoms are going to be this isotope here. But we really can't just look and see what other isotopes, smaller isotopes, there might be. We need to find that out experimentally. These are the two main isotopes of argon, though. If we wanted to write the notation for isotopes for each one of these, we'd use nuclear notation. We'd take the mass number, put that up here, and then the number of protons, or the atomic number, would go down here. So this is argon-40, and you could write the notation for argon-36, and it would be 18, because argon always has an atomic number of 18, like that. So this is nuclear notation. It's for specific isotopes. And then on the periodic table, we have a notation that takes a weighted average of all of the isotopes for the element. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for argon. Thanks for watching.